in this video, I'm going to talk about a PDF viewer called Ocular. Now, it's more than a PDF viewer, but that's what I'm going to focus on. I'm using Ubuntu Mate 18.04, the long-term support version, and my default PDF viewer is the Atrial Document Viewer, and it works 95% of the time. It's that 5% of the time that it doesn't work, I have to rely on something else, and that's what the purpose of this video is. Now, let me first show you the comparison with my old or original uh, PDF viewer that's within my Ubuntu Mate 18.04 which is the actual document viewer compared to ocular which I have already pre-installed now here is a sixth grade common science exam that the state of North Carolina has released for students and teachers to use when I double click that and use my default viewer I have no trouble I can scroll from page to page the font show up it's clear and it works and like I said it works 95 percent of the time and that's using the default viewer the atrial document viewer and as you can see that's the version 1.20.1 the problem is with most current ebooks and e-magazines when you open them with the atrial document viewer sometimes the fonts are not displayed properly and as you can see here it's loading uh, this kind of is a large file and I'm not going to scroll through the pages uh, because this is something that you need to purchase online uh, I'm just going to show you for the purpose of showing you the fonts now as you can see here on this particular page it's unreadable it, you just can't read anything on it and if I were to scroll through the pages and the thumbnails will load it takes some time and they're much slower the atrial document viewer uh, which is the default as you can see it's loading up on the side and you might think well if it uh, finishes loading next time it'll load faster it doesn't so as you can see here I'm going to close I'll double click for the default once again and it still takes a long time to load eventually it will load but you would think as it loads the first time it will then load quicker the next time like most applications normally do now I already pre-installed ocular and if you're finding this on YouTube there are multiple ways that you can install ocular on your Linux system and it's universal meaning that you can also install it on other platforms like Windows and I have the links uh, here so below the video I'll provide a link to my web page and as you can see it's not just a PDF viewer you can view postscripts the deja vu the CHM the XPS the EPUB and other type formats it was originally developed by KDE and it's mainly found in KDE uh, distributions of Linux but it does work great on Ubuntu Mate and I'm going to show you in just a moment but as I was saying earlier, I'm not going to show you how to install it because I do have the illustrated steps on my website. And it does take a while to install the way I installed it. You can install it by typing in sudo apt install ocular. And as you can see here, that's not what I did. That's just the typical uh, installation from the uh, Ubuntu repositories, which if you install it by the Ubuntu repositories, not suppositories, but repositories, you're going to install version 1.3.3. And so I install the newest version by installing the snap. So if you don't mind using the older software, you can go sudo apt install ocular. You can also download the dev file. If you click this link here where it says dev, it'll, uh, it'll take you to this web page where you choose what version of Linux that you're using. In this case, I'm using Ubuntu 18.04, which is on using the Mate. So if I click here, I could click this link and eventually download the dev file. But since I've already have it pre-installed, I'm not going to do it this method as well. But all you simply do, and you have to have GW installed on your system, there's the 64 bit version. So if I wanted to click this, I click on that, let it download, and then install it that way. As you can see here, you can install it by using the terminal, update your repositories, and then go sudo apt get install ocular. If you have a 32 bit version of Linux, there's the for the 32 bit. You can download it and install it that way. The method that I installed from was using the snap package and that's by Snapcraft. When you click here, it'll take you to this website. Now, if you're using Ubuntu 16.04, the long-term support, or anything newer, you don't have to install anything to get the snaps to working. Snap is pre-installed and it's ready to go on. You can find your version of Linux and see if it works, or you can try to install it by my method. If not, go to this website and follow the instructions for installing Snapped on your system and so that you can install it the way that I'm going to show here so you just open up your terminal and you just simply copy and paste you can right click 
copy, paste things in your terminal. As you see here, press the enter or return key. It'll ask you for your password. And then when you're finished, it's ready to execute. So as you can see here, it's within the menu. Go to Office, and there's Ocular. And this was on a different computer. As you can see, the background is different. Uh, when you finish installing, you just go down to Office. And it may have a dark icon after you reboot. I changed it to the older icon, which I'm more familiar with. And when you click this, it'll take it a while the first time you load. And as you can see, it doesn't load with any image because I'm only all loading up the program. When I go to Avant Ocular, as you can see here, I'm using version 6.6, .6, version 1.6.2. Now you can customize this. You can go to uh, Configure Ocular. You can configure the back ends. You can configure the toolbar to add things and take things off the toolbar. Or you can configure your shortcuts. You can even turn off the navigation bar on the side. So that way you don't see the little thumbnail images as it loads but since I had them open with the, uh, the these thumbnails in my actual document viewer which is my default viewer I'm gonna leave them open as well I might shrink them to make them about the same size and I will right click on this and where it says show text I'm gonna uncheck that and I'm gonna make that small icons because in the actual document viewer you don't even have this little sidebar you just got a little bar with the small thumbnail so I'm gonna make it about the same size and I'm gonna close it now I'm going to go back into my documents folder and instead of double clicking it's only it will bring up the default the atrial document viewer if I double click so I want to right click open with and I'm going to open it with ocular if you install it for the first time you might have to go choose other application and choose ocular and it will add it in this list so I click on ocular and in a moment or two it loads and look how fast it loaded uh, and even the thumbnails loaded quicker. So that's an advantage that Ocular has over the default Atrial Document Viewer, which is the default viewer in Ubuntu Mate. So it's not only faster, it allows you to see the text that you cannot see. And I'm not going to uh, show too much because this is an ebook, e magazine. So I'll close that out. It allows you to see text that you normally would not see, or for the fonts that you wouldn't see in our default viewer so again I'll click notice the speed and I'm not gonna put a timer but you can kinda of tell it loads it loads as you can see here I tried to create thumbnails the same size in ocular and it's still loading I'm not doing anything uh, this is a very large file but uh, and again it takes a while to load but as you can see it's the same file that I'm loading, loading with ocular so as you can see here the text is unreadable so if you needed to read that you would need something completely different than using the default viewer. So when I go back, I can right click again, open with Ocular, and I can, and eventually I will set this as my default uh, PDF viewer or document viewer because uh, even though the actual document viewer works 95% of the time, uh, this works so far. I've been using it for several days now, and there's nothing that I've really come across that it doesn't work with. And as you can see here, this is the same version I showed you earlier. Uh, it, it loads faster and it, there's nothing it can't open that it doesn't display the fonts properly. So let me go ahead and close this out. Go back to my web page for a second. And so I show you on my web page how you can open up text and I show you basically what I just showed you here about the about feature. How you can customize and I will be adding more to it. I'm just showing you how to go into your settings, how you can configure in, uh, your toolbars your shortcuts, your how to configure Ocular. It's very similar if you've ever used the, the actual document viewer, how you add things and remove things from the bar. It's very similar to that. So I don't think that I have to put a lot of information because if you're used to using a PDF viewer of another type, they're, they're very similar. There are some things that are different. And like, for example, since I'm using the snap, the bar up here is not like the bar it will look like. When you go through and go the sudo apt install ocular, it will have more the theme look at the top than it does uh, what you see here. It kind of blends in more like you see at the top of my uh, cr Google Chrome here. It will have more of that Google Chrome look to blend in with your other types. But using the snap is universal, meaning that when you put it on other distributions of Linux or even uh, in Windows or Mac, it will have a similar look because you're installing basically the same package but on different platforms. So hopefully this has helped you if you've been experiencing trouble 
uh, opening a PDF file and the fonts not being displayed properly. Uh, hopefully Ocular will be an answer for you so that you'll be able to see those fonts that you normally would not be able to see normally with your default viewer. Hopefully this has been a help to you and have a great day.